Hey everybody, Bayzad here, back again with another Fade review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the original Okayama Spirit, a 16 ounce unsamphorized big slub Japanese salvage denim released back in the fall of 2013. I don't have much information about this pair in terms of how long they were worn, so if you recognize these as yours, let us know more about them in the comment section below. Obviously, these were heavily worn in. The whiskers on the lap have developed quite nicely, and judging from the level of contrast, I presume these jeans were worn without wash for the first 8 to 12 months or so. These jeans have definitely been washed though. You can tell from the brighter shade of blue and just how clean and white the creases are. Making our way down the jeans, you'll pick up on just how slubby and textured the denim is. And when it fades, you'll get this mix of vertical streaking and what looks like television static. You get this incredible depth of color and contrast. Here we can see just how nicely developed those behind the knee honeycomb fades are. When you look close, you'll notice these little holes forming. These are usually formed when the jeans are worn too long before washing. Here's a profile view of the jeans where we can see the train track fades on the outseam. They are pretty subtle on this pair, probably because the jeans haven't been washed all that much. Train track fades will really start to be noticeable the more frequently you wash your jeans. Notice the beautiful roping effect at the hem. Now here's a closer look. You can see that the hems have frayed and worn through quite a bit. You'll even notice the weft yarn starting to peek through. Despite all the wear, the chain stitch hem is still perfectly intact. Here at the crotch, you'll notice the fabric has started to wear through. This is exactly the time to start reinforcing this area. It's a good practice to inspect your jeans from time to time and fix any problems while they are small and easy to deal with. The buttonhole has started to fray. Buttonholes can wear it a bit faster on heavier weight and slubby denim. Luckily, this is a pretty easy fix that you can tackle with a needle and thread. The coin pocket is looking really nice and faded. At the same time, the rivets are looking quite new. Not a lot of fading there. On the other pocket, I really like this dark line. When you look at faded jeans worn by the same person over the years, You'll notice these signature fade patterns. I bet this is on every pair of this wearer's jeans. The 10 ounce vegetable tan leather patch is looking amazing, patinaed to absolute perfection. And that's it for this pair. Let me know your thoughts and what jeans you want me to cover in the next fade review. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.